like to welcome both of you to our players counseling session. Now, obviously, I know there's been somewhat of a disconnect between the Magic the Gathering community and, of course, the Yield community. So we're going to try to resolve that a little bit today. Um, first, you want to say something about your respective selves, Professor? I, I think that Magic the Gathering is the better game than, than Yu-Gi-Oh! And I'm tired of hearing about how great Yu-Gi-Oh! is and how many people play Yu-Gi-Oh! Because it is better. It's not better. It, it's it's not better at all. It's I'm just it's just vintage. Gentlemen, gentlemen. You don't even have formats. Gentlemen, gentlemen, this is a safe space, but we want to keep the arguing back and forth down to it. Why don't you have formats? So, <laughs> we're going to begin with a simple back and forth Q&A. So what I would like, Professor, okay. say something nice about Yu-Gi-Oh. <sighs> something nice about Yu-Gi-Oh. All right. I think it's great that Yu-Gi-Oh has a wildly popular cartoon show that's accessible to people of all ages and gets people into the game. I've always thought Magic should have that. I think that's really good about Yu-Gi-Oh. Very, very good. Thank you, <laughs> Professor. Wasn't that very yeah. good, Paul? That's true. I do agree. I think it's actually really cool that Yu-Gi-Oh has that because I feel like it's a good onboard. That's actually how I found out about Yu-Gi-Oh. And I do think that even today there are people who see the anime and they're like, hey, I wanna, you know, I wanna play. Excellent, excellent. Now, Paul, I would like for you to say something nice about Magic the Gathering. He can't, he won't, he can't, he never does. I, okay, well, actually, I have been playing a little bit of Magic myself recently. Maybe on your channel, <laughs> learn at community college, check it out, link in the description. Anyway, the point is, Magic is a much more relaxed game to play. I feel like it's, it, it, I like the pace. It feels as though, you know, nothing is super, uh, it's not tense. I feel like you can, I can kind of like relax, you know, like you play your cards, I play my cards, the game goes, it's fun. So I'd say that's, I'll admit that that's a pretty good thing about Magic the Gathering. Yeah. I, I do like, as opposed to Yu-Gi-Oh, that Magic the Gathering is fun. I do. Wow. Mm. You know, I'll be honest with you, I actually did a video about how Magic the Gathering needs a cartoon show, and everything you just said about the Yu-Gi-Oh cartoon show is what I was going on in the video. It's a great way to onboard people. I wish that, like, Pokemon even has its own cartoon show that gets yeah. people into it. I have noticed that more and more so it feels like having a different medium than just the core one. Like, you know, obviously the card game's good, and they both have card games. It's great. But I think being able to, like, engage with it, like, I think of League of Legends and, like, uh, Arcane, yeah. or, you know, something like that, I think Magic could probably use that. I always feel like I'm not able to, like, quickly identify, like, yeah. a Magic character as readily as maybe, like, a Yugi or a Kaiba. Yeah, and the, or Ash, or, or, well, I didn't have to go into other card games, yeah. but that's the thing. Yeah. And yeah. they do say, not to, you know, but Magic the Gathering is the number one best-selling card game, and yet, out of Magic, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, it's the least known by the larger population. Yeah. People who don't play Yu-Gi-Oh know what Yu-Gi-Oh is because of the cartoon show. People who don't play Pokemon, obviously, it's a whole empire, but they know what it is, and because of like the Arcane show, it was, it's just wild that we can't seem to get that, and so I think it's great. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Are they still making new episodes? They they do make new Yu-Gi-Oh anime. Um, it's like kind of different spin-offs each mm -hmm. time. So like originally it's like Yu-Gi-Oh Duel Monsters, Yu-Gi-Oh GX, Yu-Gi-Oh Five D. So it's still Yu-Gi-Oh. So though. but it's still Yu-Gi-Oh. It's still kind of the same core principles. I think that's actually been like probably one of the better parts of it is that they've kept yeah. that going. Like they keep a through line. And they'll have little things that stay consistent between each iteration. Did you know Ash retired? They retired Ash. They did retire Why would Ash. they do that? They did I stopped Ash. watching. I, yeah, I, I mean, they say the new one's good. I'm just- Who's I'm, they? I'm, I'm, I, yeah, exactly, who is they? Like, it's true, it's like, is, is that the anime industry just wants me to like I it? I will give them credits that literally, in the very final episode ever of Pokemon with Ash and Pikachu, they decide to have Pidgeot come back. It's like, what a throwback! That's your fin series finale. Alley, yeah. essentially, is he finally goes back for his Pidgeot. I'm also wondering though, like at what point are they just gonna be like, yeah, this new anime is not working, we're just gonna thrash it anyway. Yeah, well, like, he just shows up one episode. As soon as they see the ratings. Yeah, ratings are Not ratings one are episode, it's gonna be the continued journey of Ash I mean, and Pikachu like, soon uh, enough. Kind of has that issue right now, where like there's, yeah. like, there's like a, the new anime don't do that well. And some people yeah. are like, oh, this is bring back Yugi and Kaiba and right. have them do it, everything yeah. again. Yeah. We do need a Magic the Gathering cartoon show slash movie slash Netflix series. We are getting none of these things despite what they keep telling us year after year after year. So I have been playing a little bit of Magic the Gathering. Um, courtesy of a professor actually, you wanna watch me play and check it out. Oh, 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 you can but watch, watch you play Magic the Gathering. Anywho, I would say that from my experience playing Magic, 
it is a lot easier to learn the basic rules, and I feel that playing the game is a lot more relaxed. Mm -hmm. Not a whole bunch happens in the early turns, and I feel like, you know, especially with commander format, it's something where I can just like, I don't feel tense, I don't feel on edge. Yu-Gi-Oh can sometimes be a little more like, a lot to really zone in on, and I think Magic's very easy to just shuffle up and play. Yes, it is easy to just shuffle up and play, but question, have you only played Commander? I have only played Commander. So that's why you're saying that. So any Magic player watching this is like, what do you mean Magic is less tense and, and more relaxed? Oh, because 1v1 is very competitive, and 1v1 actually, silent, emotionless, intense, especially oh. at the competitive level or at the aspiring competitive level, grinders, that sort of thing. It's very similar. I've seen videos on your channel where you're making fun of competitive Yu-Gi-Oh players, and I felt this could, this might as well be talking about Magic players. So it is, there's some common ground there. Because yeah, like competitive yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh is, don't get me wrong, very fun. Like it's when you're into it, it's like, it's yeah. fun. I think though it's kind of one of those sort of games where like outsider looking in, it can just be really yeah. really, magic too, yeah, really crunchy. I think maybe then what you want to say, not to put words in your mouth, uh, but that what's great about magic is we do have a casual multiplayer format. Yes. That's, that's Format it. being a great word that's there, uh, uh, but that means that you don't have to just be in that competitive mindset where, again, I literally, in watching many of your skits making fun of competitive Yu-Gi-Oh players, have been like, this might as well be magic. That is something, yeah, I, I love Commander Format because I feel like I do not have to, it's not like life or death. Yeah. And well, it is life or death in competitive yeah, no. 1v1 magic. Yeah, like in Commander, it's like not life and death. And, and I assume that like competitive anything gets that way, like mm -hmm. literally competitive anything. But I do think like that's a, it's good to see that Magic has embraced that multiplayer, you know, low octane sort of format where you mess around and have fun. Yu-Gi-Oh does generally lacks that. There are fan made ones. Yeah. And there are like some sort of retro formats that have become popular mm -hmm. from the community, but not really like an official sort of thing. Mm -hmm. I am so glad y'all are making such great progress. We're building a bridge toward these two respective communities. And I just can't express how proud I am of both of you. But I do want to switch gears for just a minute. Are you, but are you more proud of one of us than the other? Is one of us doing a better job building that bridge of modesty and reconciliation? I feel like maybe clearly, it's clearly one, of, clearly one of us. Is. Clearly one of us. I maybe the one not asking. I couldn't about be it. prouder than of both of you. But Paul, I would like for you to explain something you don't like about. Magic the Gathering. Something I don't like about Magic the Gathering. The thing I do not like about Magic is playing it is like kind of a mess. Like, like literally like there's no zones and cards go what? everywhere. That's ridiculous. Zones? You think zones? Yeah, you think zo uh, Magic isn't the best? Yu-Gi-Oh is the same. Uh, but it's but true. did you hear him? Did you hear him? It's, it's not. True. That isn't even true. So the thing about Magic is every time I play, I feel like I'm just like, where do my cards go? Lands like, <laughs> lands are everywhere. Like I, 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 I'm like, okay, I'm trying to learn how to play Magic, and it's like, where do the lands go? Oh, they they like go here. right here. No, and no, no, like, they go here. But then like, what happens when you like enchant a land? You put the enchantment under the land. And then how do you turn it? You just, like this. It's you like turn turning both. Two. You can't. Yeah, you. Yeah, that's See, right. That's, that's too complicated. Turning both. No, but the fact that like you yes, really, you so turn both. Some of the cards are like turned like this, and some yeah. are like upright. No. Yeah, yeah, that yes, those okay. are the two positions, right, so no, turned or upright. No, where does no where does artifact go? Point no point to point where on the mat an artifact goes. D d just <laughs> just there, right? Yeah, just sure. Around, right? Creatures. Okay. Lands. Where does an equipment go? Well, is it equipped? No, it, it goes there. What is there on what, the board? What, what is there? above the your thing. lands? There's no in Yu-Gi-Oh, like, we have zones and, like, columns, and you do not place things. Yeah, like, and I can call yeah. a judge on you if you don't have it in the and, right And, like, zone. where does your commander go? It goes in the command zone. Where is that? See this little square on my map? It, did, did Wizards say that that's where it goes? Wizards might have said that. So you said that's where it goes? Yes. But, like, so what if yours is there, and mine's, like, here? Actually, a really good trick is you take your commander and you just kind of stick it in your deck, like, halfway face up, and that's that's a really good one. So, so, so cheating? No, no. So cheating? That's not cheating at all. I mean, the, the cards it's a way to know around. where the... Like, oh, my God. Speak, speaking of that, also, how do people shuffle 100-card decks? I don't know. Is that you, just a, a skill you pick up? You shuffled your 100-card deck on my show. In, like, three pieces. Like, I separated it into three pieces. Now, I, now it explains your and draws. like... Well, I, 
That explains your draws on that episode. Listen, listen it's the playing magic is crazy. I don't see how people do it. What? And like every time I see a magic play map, there's just no zones on it. It's there just, aren't zones. It's just a design. They you just put your zones. lands there, your creatures there. It's fine. They need to, the tournaments at least have like no. some decor. Yeah, yes, you can't put your lands a ahead of creatures. Okay, at least a small bit of structure. Yeah. A small bit. I'll concede only a small bit of structure. I, I will say that's probably like the worst thing. Okay. To be fair. So you obviously haven't looked at the prices. If you say that's the worst. Thing. How, wait, how how are the prices? Well, it depends. Well, okay. It's a little what? crazy right now. How about I replace that with releases? How many Yu-Gi-Oh sets come out each year? Four main sets, some side sets. Okay. That's like maybe first quarter for us. One really interesting thing, and I'm just like so surprised this can work, is a set comes out and there's like a collector's version of a set, and there's like a normal version of the set, and there's like a draft version of the set, and I know like now they combine the normal and the draft one. And then there's also like four pre-cons of the set. Yeah. And I'm just like, how, how does it all like, I completely stay agree, it's show? nonsense. Yeah, like, I completely agree. And then also there's no MSRP. Like, yeah. That's weird. Oh wait, you guys have MSRP? Yeah, we have What MSRP. a luxury. Yeah, no, no we don't have sorry, MSRP. Some people don't feel like the sealed product warrants the price you get, but we won't get into that. Right. But the, you know. By eliminating MSRP, then they can really screw you over. Do, do they screw you over? Yes. C, Commander Masters pricing. Double yeah, Masters that's, pricing. That, so like, how does a Magic player decide what product is that they need to buy? Besides watching wow, the videos. I'm so glad. <laughs> that's a question many Magic the Gathering players ask, and they go to Tolarian Community College on YouTube. So I suppose I don't have to, Wizards doesn't have to worry about players not knowing whether or not no, to buy No, Wizards has they to just, worry about me. They just go to you. Yeah. And that's, I got it, okay, All I right. see. Mm -hmm. cool. No, fair, I'll, yeah. Yeah. So, in retort, yes. what's something negative about Yu-Gi-Oh? Only one thing? Wow. Come on, there's so much wrong with Yu-Gi-Oh, and I, heard, I learned most of it from listening to you over lunch. Like... <laughs> Manners. <laughs> okay, there's a lot wrong with Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, but I'm gonna say the biggest problem with Yu-Gi-Oh is actually just the card text. And I don't just mean font size because we were doing uh, other uh, uh, filming and it's ridiculous how some of the sentences are worded, things don't make sense. Uh, there is still on Magic cards, though less and less so with each day, a certain logic and flow to it. And if you go back in time a little bit, then I could say with certainty that the logic of a Magic card, once you knew the basic rules, really could get you through that card if you'd never seen it before. The fact that I could take a Magic card that anybody who knows how to play Magic has never seen before and have them read it, and they have a high success rate of knowing exactly how that card works, the rules and legality, except in corner case, perhaps interactions, is one of, is 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 definitely a Magic strength. And in Yu-Gi-Oh, I've seen you guys with your own decks argue about what a card does. You, you literally, it's not even like, it's your own deck. And 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 like you guys are like, wait, what does this do? What does it say? It's crazy. Okay, so I will, I have two points to that. Yeah. The first one is that you are right. I think Yu-Gi-Oh has a text problem. The only problem. point we need is I am right. You Well, Yu-Gi-Oh does have a bit of a text problem. Yeah. I think many people who play Yu-Gi-Oh agree with this. Right. Is that font size is small. The cards are already smaller than magic cards, so like they are, so they have to like crunch that font size down even more. Yeah. And the sort of issue that I have with the font size is that Yu-Gi-Oh's got a bit of a wordiness problem, where it'll like state something kind of like multiple times. It'll be like, go during either player's turn, quick effect this. Yeah. Or like at the end of every card, it'll say like, I can only activate Tolarian Community College. There were the effect of Tolarian Community College once per turn, or like I can only use each of the following effects of Tolarian Community College, so it can just get really wordy. A lot of players do want them to explore like either the use of keywords or even just maybe bullet points on the cards just to kind of like visually break it up because it's just a paragraph. They don't, there's no line breaks yeah. or anything, which like Magic does have line breaks, props to them, because like it'll say trample and then like yeah. line break an effect. Wow. Yu Gi Oh! We don't like really get that. And I do think like, that's something that legitimately they should try to explore. However, however. You're not allowed to refute However. The no. The one thing that hang I Hang on, hang on, Larry. Is he allowed to re refute the point? Let him finish. But he I just want to know if he's allowed to refute it. He's allowed to make his statement. Right. So the one thing I will say, though, is that Yu-Gi-Oh! is, and I've had a friend say this, describe it exactly like this, it's sort of like lawyer speak, where even though it is like 
a bit verbose and a bit, you know, fussy bit. and specific. A bit. There will never actually be like any doubt about how an interaction works or what a card does once you understand it. There are, now I know, I know, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, there are some cards where it'll be like, this says target a card. This just says like, select a card and it's like different. But when you know, like when you have the word choice, like sort of the syntax down, it's very, very easy to solve discrepancies without really like the aid of a judge or anything like that. However, that's something that they had to start doing. Like mm -hmm. 10 years ago, like Konami sort of did a huge overhaul of like how cards are written. And so since then, even though the cards themselves have gotten longer, they are very um, airtight in their execution. So there's less ambiguity in exchange for just more raw words. Mm -hmm. Which I think like doesn't, admittedly does not negate the problem, but it at least means like cards work exactly as intended. And there will just never be like a, a, a big question about it. When you see people reading each other's cards and arguing about it, it's usually just because they've never read the card to begin with. And they're just like, oh, I've just never seen this. Let me sit here and read the paragraph. Yeah. Which is its own issue, but you know. Yeah. Both of you made great points. And I think we've broken new ground on how we can all come together as one big, happy TCG community. Mm -hmm. So I think that'll be our time for today. And I'll see you both next week. Wait a second. You never said anything bad about magic. What? Do I? Why? Why should I have to trash magic? Magic's perfect, almost perfect. Uh, okay. Uh, what? What? what one I, do one I bad thing about magic. Come on. Okay. Some I, humility would be nice. I, I don't think we have enough time. All right. All right. Hang on. No. How some much? Paul. Come on. I want to hear Paul, this. All right. All right. Let's hear this. I'm gonna say the worst thing about magic. The worst thing about magic, and this is true. Every day, as cards get more complicated, Magic: The Gathering becomes a bit more like Yu-Gi-Oh, and it breaks my heart. The fact that magic is turning into Yu-Gi-Oh. You don't have to include that last part. It's not a bad thing. I don't want to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Join us. No. Go in the dark no. side. We this, have novels. This, this is not what this is about. All right. Well, anyway, listen. The point is, we'll be back next week for more counseling. But until then, I suppose if Magic: The Gathering is your thing, bad taste. Then you could watch some Magic: The Gathering content over on. Tolarian Community College, the link will be in the description. We may or may not have gone over there and played a little commander format. All right, well, that's very nice of you to say it. I suppose if you like Yu-Gi-Oh, there's only one place to go for Yu-Gi-Oh, and you're already there. So hit the subscribe button if you haven't, and uh, share with a friend, yeah. Team APS. Well, that's nice. And Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh players, please be nice to each other in the comments, yeah. or else you'll be here next. Right, so. right. Hey, you want to learn flesh and blood?